Hi, I'm Jessica Rittenauer. I'm the Executive Director of the 300 Committee Land Trust, and we are at T-Ticket Park today, which is located at 205 T-Ticket Highway, a natural park that the 300 Committee um, worked to purchase in 2010 and has been working over many years to restore um, meadow areas, freshwater wetland, pollinator meadows, walking paths. It's just, it's a wonderful place to walk and explore and to get a bit of nature uh, right near the heart of Falmouth. All right, so the area where we are, T-Ticket Park, was Joe's driving range for several decades. And the Vieira family uh, approached the 300 committee um, with the hope that this land um, could be converted um, to open space when the family was ready to sell the driving range. So the 300 committee worked with the town of Falmouth and received some community preservation funds and state land, uh, park grant funding in order to buy this land so that we could create a community park in T-Ticket. So it's been a conversion from miniature golf and driving range to the park you see today. So what that meant was planting a streetscape of trees. We have 68 trees that we planted right up along T-Ticket Highway. Um, Stephen Stimson Associates designed the park plan, working with the 300 committee and the community. We have a wonderful restored meadow area here, and what's behind me is our freshwater wetland, uh, which was restored. Uh, so years ago, this is where you know folks were hitting golf balls when they were at the driving range. They were hitting their golf balls back in here. So we are still finding. Uh, golf balls from from back in those days. It's a really special area um, because of the freshwater wetland. The birds that are coming through here are magnificent. Um, we've actually just completed installation or planting of a pollinator meadow that the local Girl Scout troop helped us with a couple of different plantings and we have some signs that have just gone in there to help with education of what is a pollinator meadow? What makes pollinators special and why are they important? This park is almost 11 acres. It's like 10.7 acres to be exact. And, and we have a combination of, you know, the streetscape, the meadow, the wetland. I think my favorite part of the park is being back here by this uh, wetland area. You're far enough away from T-Ticket Highway, you're not hearing, you know, the road noise, but it's like you can be back here and the experience is you're just surrounded by nature. You've got birds flying overhead and I think it's quite lovely to see people walking through here, walking through with our dogs. There's a lot of, you know, folks that come here to do that, um, but it's just a peaceful spot back here by the wetland. So I always find it a few minutes at least, you know, to just, you know, to sit here and to observe and take it all in. Part of our mission is preserving land for people. We are connecting people to nature in Falmouth. So there are significant uh, wellness benefits for, for people to be able to have time and space and nature uh, for the walking paths, for the observation, the seating areas, passive recreation. Uh, but between the environmental, water quality, wildlife, and human health benefits, it can make a significant difference in a community like Falmouth, where our goal is to preserve 30% of Falmouth's land area as open space. So on a visit to T-Ticket Park, there are a few things that I would say are a must. First of all, uh, we have a wonderful art installation um, that was done through a collaboration of Jane Baker um, and the elementary school students. It's a bird mural that's on the side of our maintenance building and it's just it's a wonderful whimsical little art piece that it's just it's a pleasure I think to look and to see you know what they were able to accomplish together and that was you know through the leadership of Jane Baker and her creativity. Also our pollinator area with new signage that was just put in. It's just, it's a really special and it's going to change. That is a living part of the park, you know, that's going to change seasonally, but it's a very special area to walk through and an educational opportunity uh, to learn more about pollinators.